unexpected. Eventful. Undulating. I've got no idea what that means. Um. Tumultuous, maybe? Um, no, I've got to think of a bigger word. Probably challenging. I think I've grown in, in many ways, mostly through the challenges that we faced through the lockdown. I think, yeah, I've definitely learned to be resilient. Resilience. Resilience and perseverance. I think my mental well-being has like really grown. I think before that I sort of didn't really need to focus on it as much just because we didn't have all these like external forces like COVID and Year 12. So I've sort of developed, um, I guess, a stronger sense of self. I've found I've know myself a lot better in terms of how I need to look after myself and what coping mechanisms work for me. I like to think I've probably matured a bit. Once, you know, year 12 got real, um, I think I kind of learnt a bit more about myself and how much I can do and what I can't do as well. I think I kind of, I was a bit humbled by the whole year. I've sort of become a lot more aware of, of the things that I, I don't want to be doing. I feel like personally I've grown definitely with being able to self-motivate myself, um, you know, not relying on anyone else. A lot more productive with my time and also organised because nobody else was there to do it for me. I think sort of little things, for example, organisation has really improved. Feeling um, confident and self-confident in yourself being okay with giving it your best and that's it. Some days you wake up and, and you don't feel like you know logging onto classes but you know they're the days that are probably most important and you, you do you learn a lot about yourself on, on those those tough days. It's been a really difficult year but in lots of ways like academically with my mental health I've just changed as a person in a lot of positive ways. Um, Zoom skills. Computer skills. Microsoft Kind of a tech skills. guru now, yeah. I'm going to say so myself. I think I've grown, at least myself, I've really grown close with um, a lot of my friends just because I didn't want to lose those connections when we were in lockdown. I think we all grew closer. I think that's why, especially at the end of the year, there was a lot more emotion because a lot of people had just had a pretty rubbish two years. Um, and now that it, we were done with school and we were, a lot of the past two years that have been pretty, pretty average, entirely revolved around school. So now that that's done, it, it was a probably more overwhelming sense of freedom. I miss everything. I think just the environment, just having everyone yeah. just chatting, like all the laughter in the backgrounds, definitely relationships with teachers. Yeah. Like I feel like in year 12, you have more of a... A stronger bond yeah. with your teacher. And I'm definitely gonna, I'll miss that. Oh, 100%. Just chatting, a little I banter think, here and there. I think I'll actually miss everything. There's not like one thing that I won't miss. It's just yeah. been a really like, lovely, wholesome experience. Wholesome experience. Yeah. That's gone by really fast. Yeah. I think the people. I've just met so many amazing and caring teachers and students and people that I just really look up to and who have shaped me into the person that I, that I am today. Not having that, that constant of knowing that I can wake up, you know, no matter if I'm having, I've woken up, there's bad news at home, whatever, I can come in, I can see my friends and I can try to forget about it. I think losing that's probably going to be pretty tough and I think that's what made the last day so emotional and for everyone, you know, all the crying together, it's, there's nothing like it and I think it's because everyone does enjoy so much just walking into school and seeing other people smile. That's something I'll miss, that you feel really comfortable and really safe here. I would have said working, but I just started work and it's not that good. Fresh start, new chapter of our lives. Having a good sleep in. Yeah. To be able to travel because I haven't been able to do that. Well, no one's been able to do that. Um, for me, hopefully getting into teaching um, in a few years and also would like to travel the world and help with like health promotion in like remote Indigenous communities. Yeah, same as Hannah, I want to get into teaching and yeah, hopefully we might be able to teach together one day. <laughs> Probably I'd like to, something in the sporting industry, um, Football as a full-time job would be would be amazing, um, but that doesn't happen for everyone. Um, I want to start study construction management next year at uni. It sounds silly, but you know, you want to just be happy and I think, oh, that's tough. <laughs> um. Try and um, do something that I enjoy and try and do something that I can be proud of and share it with people. I think that's my overall goal.